What is up? Welcome back to uh, 103.9 NSSB FM. Gosh. I really miss saying that. But I hope you all having an amazing day. Let me hear about your days a little bit. I'm reading the chat right now. I have a couple of things planned out for today as well. Uh, for today's station head. But... Hmm. I see. Just got off work. That's exciting. Well, now it's time to sit back and relax and enjoy your time here. How's the audio, by the way? Can you guys hear me all right? Okay, I see that a lot of you guys are getting off work. Good to hear. I hope you guys had a great time at work today. You can hear fine. Okay. Perfect. Wow. It feels like a minute, huh? Last time we were doing Station Head was uh, before Sunshine dropped. And now it's been, uh, it's been quite the time. But we are back and this is something that I want to do um, maybe on an occasion basis, you know? We'll see how, how the Station Head goes. And uh, if you guys would like more Station Heads in the future, then um, that's something that we can make happen for you, the stars. Also, honestly, I just miss talking to you guys. There's a lot going on in my life, and, and I want to share it with you. Starting with, we have a show this Sunday in Austin, Texas. I'm so excited, man. If you guys were able to see any of um, the videos or photos from our preview that we just did back in San Antonio, um, then, then, man... That you have seen that it was a lot of fun, and uh, honestly, if I'm being quite quite honest, there's nothing better ever than to be performing for you guys and to be able to meet you guys in person, and that's why we've been traveling. And no, we are not living in Texas. That's not that's not our home place as of right now. Um, we're still based out in Los Angeles, but we have been traveling for the sole purpose of being able to meet the stars in these areas. So if you've been keeping up with us, you would know that we flew to the Philippines, which is our first ever international trip together as NSB. And oh man, there's there's so many stories I want to tell you guys, but we'll get that we'll get into that in just one second. And then we flew to Florida. My home state. I was able to see my mom and see my little brother Mateo and see my family. It, it was it was a trip as well. I loved it. I had so much fun in Florida. And we did a Tampa show as well. Our first ever official Saturday night with NSB. Oh, man. <laughs> that, that was crazy. Taking shots with you guys and then taking shots with your guys' dads as well. That's it's just like, it's the most in interesting thing I've ever done in my life, to be quite honest. I was playing beer pong. I was taking shots with dads. I was taking my shirt off on stage, like it got it got kind of wild, all right. So, yeah, that that was Tampa, Florida, and now we're in Houston, Texas, as of right now. Um, that's where I'm doing the station head, and this Sunday we're going to be traveling to Austin, um, Austin, Texas, for a show as well, which I'm so excited for, and I see on Twitter that you guys are excited for it as well. Yes, I was taking shots with dads, playing beer pong with dads. It was, it was so amazing. It was crazy. <laughs> you guys just have a habit of taking off your shirt in concerts? Hey, hey. Uh, I, I don't really ever plan on doing it. I don't really go on stage with the intention like, oh yeah, I'm going to take off my shirt. It kind of just like happens. <laughs> but it, it does... If anyone does ask me, hey, how does it feel like to take off your shirt on stage? It feels free. And also, most of the time, these venues and these, like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, these shows, it gets hot inside. So I start sweating, and uh, I don't know. You know what I want to do, though? I want to take off my shirt and throw it to the, to the audience. Go, Vroom. I hope everyone can stay safe, though. I don't want anyone to, like, you know, go bazonkers for the shirt. Have you been getting any rest? To be honest, yeah. Um, I, I've been getting a good amount of rest. 
uh, the past 48 hours, maybe not too much, but, but that's more of a personal choice. I've been working on music. Um, I'm getting better at producing. I'm actually, I'm, I was producing right before hopping on Station Head. And I'm trying to get better at it. Uh, slowly but surely, we're making progress, honestly. Um, you know, I'm learning a few new tricks here and there. Um, but that's ultimately my favorite thing to do. I love to learn. So whenever I have the chance to learn, even if it sacrifices my sleep a little bit, then best believe I'm going to be, I'm going to be learning. Speaking of learning, let's open up our Twitters. Uh, I want to see your guys' questions. The first thing I want to do on this station head is get to know you guys a little more and, and to hear some of you guys' questions. So if you have any questions, you guys know the hashtag. Yes. I, oh, my goodness. Bejia? I hope I'm saying your name. ex Bejia? Bejia? I think it's Bejia. Well, whatever it is, you have a, you have a beautiful name. Um, you got it right. Hashtag NSB Station Head on Twitter. You already know the vibe, baby. Come on. Don't play with them. Send me your questions there. And give me some, like, give me some cool, interesting things to talk about. It could be about anything. I want to hear it. And let's talk about it. So I'm going on the hashtag right now. Let's see where we're at right now. Hashtag NSB Station Head. Let's see. When will you guys come to Canada? Um, we can make some plans. We can make that happen. It may not be anytime soon, but I've always wanted to visit Canada. I want to go to Toronto. And uh, if there's any other places we should visit while in Canada, let me know. Amaya on Twitter using the hashtag NSB Station Head asks, How many pairs of shoes do you own? All right, I, I gotta give you guys a little story. So this is actually one of the uh the only the only unfortunate story I can tell you guys from the trip in Philippines, all right? So Philippines goes well. We have a lot of fun. It's amazing. We we were able to see our um Filipino stars and and you guys you guys are you guys go crazy over there, and I love it. It was a blast to be able to see you guys and to be able to learn more about the culture of the Philippines. And I know Reggie, he had the time of his life there as well. But um, the flights from Philippines to Florida, I had two luggages with me, all right? All right. Two of them. And uh, l let me elaborate on what are in these luggages, okay? So in one luggage, I have... Um, all my shoes, okay? All, all my favorite shoes, because I packed pretty much all of my favorite clothing pieces and equipment for music in Los Angeles for these trips. Because I knew I was going to go to, um, I knew I was going to go to the Philippines and then Florida and then Texas. All right, so in this one luggage, I had all my shoes. And that was honestly, that's the only thing I had in my luggage, just shoes, my favorite shoes. And then in the other luggage, I had all of my clothes, okay, all of my favorite pieces of clothing I've ever had in my life, including that that white flowy um, button up shirt. That was my favorite button up ever that I've ever owned in my life, and I love to perform on stage with that button up. Uh, I I love to go to parties with that button up. It was my favorite shirt, so that was in that suitcase as well. The suitcase full of clothes. Also in the suitcase full of clothes, I had two speakers, two KRK rocket speakers, and I had all my wirings and whatnot. Um, and I also had my carry-on backpack, which had my microphone in, in my computer. So I'm just trying to paint this image for you guys. I'm flying back from the Philippines to Florida, and guess what suitcase got lost? Probably the worst case scenario for myself. The suitcase full of my music equipment and my favorite clothes. That's the suitcase I got lost. <laughs> so, when I touched down in Florida, um, I was left with only my shoes. <laughs> so, to answer your question with how many shoes I have, a good thing I have my shoes, right? I have like six, seven pairs of shoes, which is, which is good. They're, they're great shoes. But at the same time, like I don't know what suitcase or luggage I would rather lose because you guys know I talk about it sometimes on my Snapchat story and YouTube videos that um, I have a certain favorite pair of shoe 
and they are golden goose star dances and it says uh the world is my canvas on them with marker uh, uh sharpie marker on there and it also says north star boys on there as well they're my favorite pair of shoes because i worn these shoes in the music video of uh, sunshine and uh I also performed a lot of performances and done a lot of concerts with these uh, shoes on as well. So I, I don't know which has more emotional value. These shoes that I'm wearing right now, which are my favorite pair, or that white button up flowy t-shirt. I, I can't tell. But nevertheless, I'm trying to think positive. Um, at least I didn't lose both suitcases. That would uh, That would have been even more sad but it's all right you know all of the things that were in that luggage even though some of the some of the pieces had emotional value it's also um they're objects and they're replaceable um the biggest thing is that we were all able to fly in the philippines and out of the philippines all safely with keeping all members as well so um so there's a lot of positive to uh, make out of the trip. And hey, now we're in Houston, Texas, and we're all safe. We're all healthy. No one's sick. As you guys know, in the Philippines, we were, um, we caught fevers, like very bad fevers. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't COVID because then we would not be able to fly, but um, we caught terrible fevers. Uh, and we had to rest and quarantine our rooms for multiple days before flying so yeah mm. speaking of sunshine though you guys like the song how are you guys feeling about it what do you guys think of the song so far because i know during the concerts you guys are you guys love this song but i want to hear you guys here on station and what do you guys think of it you guys like it you like it i love it I love it. Good to hear. Sunshine song of the decade. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I, I I love this song so much that I listen to it. I got to be honest with you guys, multiple times every single day. And the song's been out for, what, a month, a month and a half, two months? I, I'm not too sure, but I listen to it a lot. Um, It takes me back to a time. It takes me to a house called Melrose House. It was our second Melrose House. Um, it was a couple months ago is when I recorded the song with Reggie. And I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but when you do something and then you check back on that, let's say it's a song or it's a painting you did or a drawing you did, and you look back on it and you can kind of smell the environments of when you first created this art piece. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm speaking crazy right now, but whenever I hear songs that I've recorded months ago, Sometimes I can smell the room or smell the house of when I recorded it. It's kind of like going off to college, I would say, or, or traveling and then coming back home. Or um, you have a, a rememberable piece with you when traveling. And you, and you look at it and you kind of just remember home. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel with Sunshine. I, I remember this certain house. And it does bring back... It brings back good memories. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a much smaller house, too. Which, I gotta be honest with you guys. I My preference for houses are not big houses. I, I'm not too fond of super big houses. I feel so far from everyone. And I don't like that. I like being more close with everyone. All the boys and... And we, we uh, play more Smash Bros, play more video games together, and we hang out more together. Since we're in this big house right now, even though it's a gorgeous house, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful house, I do feel separated. I'm in uh, the kitchen right now. I'm on my computer. I'm on Twitter, reading through NSB Station Head, hashtag NSB Station Head on Twitter. And I'm the only one in the kitchen, when usually there would be at least three other people here with me in the kitchen. But... You know, in this big house, it's not the case. I made my friends put sunshine at a party. That's fun. Man. 
I miss doing Saturday nights, especially with you guys. It was so much fun. Too much fun. Also, um, being a uh, being honest with you, I think I took a little too many shots before going on stage in in the Tampa show. Because <laughs> as soon as Chapstick was playing my song Chapstick when uh, I was on stage, I, I gotta keep it real with y'all. I, I was kind of tipsy. I was <laughs> I was kind of my body was falling over a little bit. I, I don't know if anyone here. I uh, was at the Tampa show, but if you were, then that's some insight. <laughs> and ain't no way I'm a lightweight either because it was like, I was like, what, seven, eight shots in? Shoot. Shoot, never again. Well, maybe again, but not nah, nine times. Again. Come to London. I'm trying to take shots with you. We do want to visit London and perform for you guys there, so. Make sure you tell all your friends about NSB um, so that when we do go there, the parties we'll have with you guys will be so much fun. Eight shots of what? I like Casamigos. I like tequila. Um, I think that's pretty much all I drink at the Tampa show. Uh, you no, know, some other drinks I enjoy a lot. Hennessy. But, but it has to be in certain occasions, though, you know. With friends, I like drinking tequila. Um, if, if I'm with a couple of the boys and we're making music and we're just, like, you know, taking two shots or something or just, you know, enjoying our time together, then maybe Hennessy or maybe um, darker liquor. But I think my go-to would be tequila, yeah. When is the Sunshine Documentary coming out? I'm almost done editing it. Thank you for reminding me. I gotta edit some more today. But I'm so excited for you guys to watch that. Oh, I'm actually so excited for you guys to watch that. So much in the music video making process for Sunshine. It's all in this video. And it's all captured. And it's a beautiful story, guys. Sunshine, like... I don't know. You have to watch it for yourself. I literally ran through all of the secrets and information that made Sunshine Music Video come to life. It's all in this it's all in this YouTube video that's going to be out on my channel soon, so keep an eye out for that. I'm curious about the significance, significance of the map. And I talked about the significance of the map as well in this... I'm calling it a documentary, but it's more of like a behind the scenes documentary kind of thing. So, yeah. Are you going to release F Love? Possibly. Possibly. We're focusing a lot on music recently, guys. Um, and. It's because we understand that you guys really, really enjoy our music. And there's nothing that makes me more happy, to be honest. So we've been putting a lot of more attention into it. Um, all of the boys, they've been working on music as well in their own creative ways. I love to go upstairs and I see Darren. Um, he got the same program that I use, Ethel Studios, that, that I use to produce and engineer music. So he's getting into engineering music as well. And it's so cool to see and honestly, guys, he's he's doing he's kind of killing it. He's learning so fast. Sebastian, he loves to make music as well. Uh, Sebastian's more of a songwriter and uh, singer, you know. Um, he also actually no, back in Los Angeles in the Calabasas house, I remember that he used to uh, be on the computer a lot, almost every single night, creating songs. Sebastian has about I say five, six, seven songs that he recorded. Um, in the last month of us being in Calabasas, California, so. Reggie's still Reggie. Uh, whenever I'm making music, even even up till today, whenever I'm making music, he always just sits down next to me and just absorbs all the information and hops on the mic whenever he can. And that's so cool as well. Hmm. <laughs> 
Justin is extremely talented in music. Ryan is talented in music in, in all different ways, too. They, they are really inspired by their, of them growing up. And it, and it formed them into, into this, this brain that cannot be replicated anywhere else and to whomever else as well. Their style of music is literally them. And it's, it's really beautiful. And Ken as well. Ken's been writing a lot of music and um, he makes music with me now as well. So. LA in like 12 days? LA in exactly 12 days, is it? We fly back to LA on the 19th, so. And to be honest, I miss LA. I miss it. I miss our Saturday nights. I miss um, the weather. The people. Hanging out with friends. Because here in Texas, we don't really go out much. We don't go out to the city or, you know, too many restaurants like we used to back in California. So I do miss LA for certain reasons. But at the same time, though, I feel like I'm going to miss Texas. I already miss Florida and I extremely miss the Philippines. So. It's three miles to the gate, yeah. That's probably true. If you heard that from the boys, it's probably true. It takes such a long time to drive from the front gate of this neighborhood to the house. It's a whole trip, I swear. What is your favorite music style or song, Ollie? Um, that's a good question. I really like hyperpop. I feel like it's a genre that is new and is able, is enabling me to be able to be as creative as possible when creating and producing music alongside finding new tricks for engineering vocals. It's so cool. I love it. I'm refreshing the hashtag NSB, hashtag NSB station on Twitter. And I'm reading through your guys' questions. Oh, excuse me. You guys' questions and, and talking points and anything. Let me read it. Hmm. Who is the most touchy of the group? <laughs> um, maybe Reggie, but Justin would surprise you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. No, thank you. Man. Someone was going to hand me food, but then they took it back. and That's sad. They handed me a cucumber, though. That's nice. My parents love You're My Star. They're always seeing it. I think that's the Yams effect. Philippa says on Twitter using hashtag NSP Station Head. <laughs> I love to hear that. You know what's insane? Mateo listens to our music. My little brother, Mateo, he, he loves our songs, NSP songs. It's so cool. Ronnie Bonnie on Twitter says, Mental health check. How are you honestly feeling right now? Sending you lots of love always. Thank you, Ronnie Bonnie. By the way, I love your name. Um, mental health check. Ah. Uh, I've been at more peace. I was on a call with my mom today, and and I was telling her that like just recently I've, even though like you know my schedule is still packed and uh, I'm always still doing something. Yes, please, thank you. Even though I'm still always doing something, I just feel more at peace recently. And and I feel like a lot of NSB internal stuff is coming together. Um. It's so nice to see people like walk around and laugh and smile and make jokes and it's it's really it's it's the best. Um, in exactly twenty minutes, I'm going to be going and playing soccer with the team of NSB. Who knew? I don't even play soccer, but um, the team here they they like to play soccer, so we're about to go ahead and do that all together and 
that's going to be really fun as well. I feel like I'm also getting better at managing my time because um, in the past week I've had a, the ability to actually open up um, or start editing a YouTube video for you guys. So that's that's great as well. I've also been having more time to produce. In the past two months, I've literally had no time to produce or engineer new songs. But right now, I'm sitting in what's sitting in front of me is my computer with a whole project of a production that I'm working on right now. So I've been having more time to do that because of better time management. So if I'm being honest, to summarize everything, my mental health has been pretty well. Thank you for checking in. Sky on Twitter, using the hashtag NSB Station, has says, when are y'all coming to New York City? I miss New York, man. The energy there is uncomparable. Even though, like, it felt a little dangerous walking around everywhere, because... Um, if I'm being honest, guys, like, there was a lot of Asian hate crime at the time, and we're a group of Asians walking around, and I'm talking about New York City, like, the city, city area. So, we were all on our toes to ensure the safety of every single person that was with us, so, that that's good. I'm glad everyone was safe, but, you know, I also pray that... All the Asian, fellow Asian Americans and Asians over there in New York City are safe as well. It's, it's never nice to to hear about hear about bad things over there or anywhere, to be honest. <laughs> Mona says on Twitter, using the hashtag NSP Station Head, who was the person who always supported you and your dreams? I would say Sebastian and my mother. They've they've uh, always been there, and, and even starting social media, you know, I, I told my mom ever since I was like ten years old, "Hey, mom, I don't want to go to college. It's not something that I feel too fond about. Like the idea of going to school." up until I'm 18 years old and then going to school for more years like that always that always uh like shocked me I was like what the heck people do that and I know people do that and it's a great thing as well I'm not bashing college is college is good if you're going into you know if college is necessary for the um the careers that you want as a future but at the same time I knew that from the beginning that i you know, I don't want to go into a career that needed college. I wanted to be on social media. I wanted to be on the internet and to sing and to perform. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. These jalapeno chips are awesome. Mmm. So, yeah. Especially my mom. Always supported my dreams. Mm. Man, that's a good chip. One more. Mm. Mm. All right, let's read some more of these amazing tweets using the hashtag NSP Station Head. I'm on Twitter, by the way, guys. I'm reading you guys' tweets. What would be your reaction to a star writing you a song? There's been multiple scenarios in the past, um, recently especially, that I would just be somewhere and a star would run up to me and I'd be like, oh, it's like, what's up? What are you doing here? I'm at the grocery store. And they're like, I saw in your story that you posted and you were here. And I, I rushed over here. And I wanted to uh, let you know that I wrote you a song. Um, and so I, I would ask them to airdrop me their notes on their phone if it was on their phone and I, I told them that I will read it more intently later on because I don't have the most time at like a grocery store to to you know talk to you guys as much as I would like to but we'll go over it um, quickly um, there's also a case where a star recorded a song with her own like using her own program on her computer and it sounded good too so she sent me that song using airdrop 
And uh, I have that song up until today that I listen to. So it's it's so nice. I love to see that. What is your dream collab? Nikki14 on Station Head says, Hmm. I would love to work with, when it comes to music, I would love to work with um, Montel Fish or, or and Steve Lacey. I love their their work ethic when it comes to making music and it's so creative as well. It's so inspiring, so I would love to work with them. When it comes to social media, mm, um, there, there's quite a bit. I, w- I would love to work with or or collaborate with um, Nessa Barrett, um, Jaden Hostler, um, some some of my friends that I'm in communications with uh, through social media that I want to collaborate with, and we are planning collaborations out when I go back to LA. So I'm not going to say their names because I want to be more of a surprise. But. Yeah, I am playing some collaborations. Speaking of which, JC, what should we, um, guys, what should we dress up as for Halloween? We guys are planning that. Made of his, what? Come on. Give me better ones. Vampire, we did vampire last year. Mmm. Mmm, the seven dwarves is not a bad idea. Hey, who said Squid Game? What the? The seven dwarves is definitely not a bad idea. Power Rangers. How many Power Rangers are there? Maybe five. If I remember correctly, I think there's five Power Rangers, maybe. Also a reminder, guys, if you have not connected your Spotify account to um, Station Head, make sure you click that button that you see on the screen. It's on there. Trust me, it's on there. Click it, connect your Spotify, and uh, we're jamming out to NSP Music right now. So jam out with me, baby. Come on. Hi, Q. Oh, yeah. Um, Kane would love to do that as Halloween for the outfit. Okay. Monster High, I haven't heard that in such a long time. You can also connect your Apple Music. If we did the Avengers, that would be actually pretty funny. (laughs) 
Genshin X Valorant costumes for Halloween. I know someone who would love that idea. <laughs> My Little Pony. Interesting take. My Little Pony is actually going to fire. I was at a, a friend's house and I was like 14 years old. And uh, my friend had a bunch of sisters. He had like five sisters. And they're watching My Little Pony. <laughs> and I was like 14, 15 years old. And uh, um, we were eating food and no cab. Like, I kind of got stuck watching My Little Pony. <laughs> it was actually like, it's kind of a fire show. You will be the most insane Halloween costume. It's not even a costume, but Halloween take, okay? Hear me out. We work with the legend Patrick Starr again. He does all of our makeup, and we become the girl versions of ourselves. Olivia Starr makes it come back. We have Renata. Renata Nguyen. You have... um. Oh, well, Reg, Reg, uh, Regina, <laughs> Regina Macalina. <laughs> That's so funny. Mm, Sabrina, okay. <laughs> Darlene. <laughs> That's my favorite name out of all of ours. Darlene. Darlene Liang. No one would top Olivia Star though. I don't know about all of that. We will we will have to see. I would love to work with Patrick Star again. Guys, everyone, right now. Uh, you, if you guys want, if you guys want to see this happen, tweet out, okay, to Patrick Star with the hashtag. Uh, what hashtag should we do, guys? Let me know. Be before we go crazy with the tweets, let me know what hashtag we need to do. And make sure you guys tag him as well so he sees it. Mm. Hashtag North Star Girls, okay? Tweet out hashtag North Star Girls and tag Patrick Star and tell him that you want to see this happen. All right. If you guys want to see this happen, go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up the hashtag right now, actually. Let's see what you guys are saying. Hashtag North Star Girls. Because I, I know Patrick Star is on Twitter. I know Patrick's on Twitter. He likes my stuff sometimes. Hashtag North Star Girls. Ah, I see you guys. I see JC Duva on the hashtag, Sky on the hashtag. Supposedly, there's a uh, football, a soccer team called North Star Girls. That's cool. Go them. I see uh, Beijia. By the way, beautiful name. I see your name on the hashtag as well. Brittany, Romy. Do their Halloween makeup, please. Yeah. I would love to work with Patrick again. I know I can just text him or give him a call, but I think this is more creative. I believe Patrick is going to see this as well, like probably today or tomorrow. So, you guys are the ones that's going to make this happen. <laughs> and, and if that ever does happen, oh, I want you guys to go crazy on Twitter with the hashtag, hashtag NorthStarGirls. Way so far. Will you guys ever consider South Africa? Yes. We actually have a team member on a team that is from South Africa. His name is Nick. Cool guy. I want to go to South Africa.
North Circle's music video one. Mm. Oh, it should be. Oh, that'd be such a fire video, like a music video. That'd be so fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys, I don't know how to say it, but these jalapeno chips are boss so much. I, I can't even tell if I'm just hungry or that these chips are just really good. So what I'm eating right now, guys, is I'm eating jalapeno. It's an interesting mix, okay? Let me tell you that much. It's a jalapeno, chips, carrots, hummus, and cucumbers. It's kind of it's kind of bomb. I like this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'll take a break from eating. Dang, I almost ate all of it already. Dill pickle chips? I okay, hold on. That's interesting. Well, it's pickles are so good. <clears throat> I love eating pickles. Never had dill pickle chips though. Uh, he should be the cars here. You're allergic to pickles? Oh, I'm so sorry. You're missing out. You know what's crazy? So. Someone's mentioned in the station head comments um, about a how haunted house YouTube video. We made one last year, but we lost all the footage to them. I think the footage is maybe corrupt. Which is so sad because that video was so much fun. It was so funny too. Right? But maybe we'll do another one this year. Hopefully, we'll keep the footage. What is the sound? I'm in front of my computer and got some people texting in the group chat. Oh, yeah, I'm What the heck? What? Were you waiting for a car? Yeah. Mm. There was a car. How far is CBS? Five okay. You want to um, I'm on station head right now, but please be back soon so we can go out for soccer. Or football. Thank you.
Do you like horror stuff, Oli? I kind of do. I watched this horror movie in the movie theaters recently. It was called um, Barbarian. No cap. Like, I don't usually get scared quite quite often at all, to be honest. But that movie, it kind of got me. It was more so like a psychological thing. Like, after the movie theater, so that's what I was like doing a lot of the thinking. I was like, dang, like, that movie's kind of scary. I also hear that Smile is a good horror movie, so I kind of want to watch it. I'm not like a horror movie enthusiast, but I do like to watch them occasionally. Very Tim Burton film. I am not too familiar with his movies, but <clears throat> I did watch a Tim Burton film in the Philippines, and it was really good. I watched um, Corpse Bride, and then that was um, a really good movie. I can see how it was so popular, and how it is so popular. But I haven't watched any of the other ones. Oh, Alice in Wonderland, I've watched that one. I did not know that was Tim Burton, though. Tim Burton really does have a, uh, a skill as, I guess, making someone feel uncomfortable, but comfortable at the same time. I know that's hard to understand, but if you guys have watched Tim Burton movies, then maybe you'll understand. Tim Burton produced a Batman movie? What? For real? <clears throat> then he must be in a... I mean, I know he's an amazing producer or um, director, but I don't know that he did Batman. Wow, he has a, a full collection of movies he's directed. That's amazing. Oh, he has done. He did Batman Returns. Cool. He also did a movie called Nine. That looks really interesting. I haven't seen it before. He's done Dumbo. Oh, the new Dumbo. Interesting. Wow, these a lot of these are classics for sure. New Avatar? Which one? Do you mean like the one that they just threw into the movie theaters? That they released 10 years ago? Or is the new Avatar out? Because I feel like I would know if the new Avatar is out. Mm-hmm. All right, stars. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's Station Head. What do you guys think, though? Should we uh, keep doing these? Should we continue Station Head? Because I had a lot of fun. It was really nice to um, read you guys' tweets and 
and to see your names again. I, I did have a lot of fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we even created a new hashtag on Twitter called hashtag North Star Girls. Maybe you guys will see the North Star Girls this Halloween. Maybe. That would be something. NSG. Alright, stars. I love you all so much. Hope you guys have an amazing night or day, wherever you are around the world. And make sure you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourself. I will catch you guys next station head. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Oliver Moy and NSB on Twitter at NorthSirBoy7 as well to get updates on when these station heads will be happening. I love you all. Thank you so much. And enjoy sunshine. Make sure you stream sunshine, guys. Bye-bye. Love you.